Hi everyone, my name is Mr Novis, I am Head of College for Trent. Welcome, I hope everyone's well. I'm um, just going to go through a couple of things so that you're fully prepared when you start in September and you know what to expect from us. So, first things first, at the moment, as you can see on the table here, we are the current college champions. So we were champions in the first year that we did the college system. We were going to be champions this year again, but obviously with circumstances, the competition has ended. So we're claiming our trophy again for this year. At the end of this, I'll go through what my aims are, because we want to try and keep hold of that trophy for as long as possible. One of the things we do within our college is we raise money for charities. So in our first year, we were looking at cancer research and raising money for them. Last year, we were looking at the Midlands Air Ambulance Charity and raising money for them as a charity that was a little bit more local. Some of our students have committed a lot of time to try and raise money for these charities and it's a really good extracurricular opportunity and a good thing to sort of put on your CV and say that you've done as part of your school life and experience. Um, and the commitment from our students in Trent has been fantastic to try and help in these and next year we're going to try and do more work than obviously we've tried to do this year which has sort of been a little bit curtailed. Um, another thing that we have is a lot of college competitions which I'll come on to later um, as we're currently revamping that system and again participation from our students particularly in Trent has been fantastic with these. There's lots and lots of opportunity to get involved in different things and whole school events as well. So a little bit about the college system, something called vertical tutoring. So we have form groups that are made up of students from every year. So you will have pupils from year seven when you start in September, all the way up to some of the older students that are in the sixth form in year 13 who are almost getting ready to leave school. What we found with this is that it creates a really good family environment, particularly within our college, as students get to know each other really well with the time they spend with each other each day. And as new starters in year seven, obviously it could be quite daunting coming into a new place where you're not going to know anyone at first, but you very quickly get to know those people in your form who will support you, even if they see you at break, lunchtime, around school, and will give you any help you sort of need. What this also allows is that older students become a little bit of a mentor and role models for you, and we've actually had some of our older students helping our younger students out in terms of they're stuck with different subjects, stuck with homework, um, helping them out with any issues they've got, which is a really good experience for everyone. It makes everyone feel part of a team and part of a family. Uh, another reason why I've introduced this system a couple of years ago was the effect it has on bullying. And this sort of breaks down the barriers that we have with different year groups and different personalities. And they are able to understand what the issues are that different students will go through at different times within their school life. And again, some of the relationships that students have built up from different year groups has been really, really pleasing to see. Obviously, it fosters a sense of identity within the college. So we have the identity of being the Trent Tridents. And obviously, everything that we have is green, apart from a tie, obviously, which I shouldn't match for this, but let's think about it. Um, and again, that sense of identity within school is a really, really strong thing that we have. And it, that pride in that college that we have really shows with our students. And this is something that everyone buys into. And again, the, the positive aspect of competition, again, is something that we focus on quite highly in Trent and pride ourselves on setting high standards with. So in terms of the structure, um, as head of college, I'll come on to what my role entails a little bit in a minute. Um, we also have a pastoral head who's a non-teaching member of staff, Mrs Blackwell, who is absolutely brilliant within her role. So she's able to help throughout the day in any sort of aspect. You know any sort of issue to try and help you and get you to where you need to be. We then have six form tutors. Um, one lucky form actually has two form tutors at one time. Um, and again, all our tutors are brilliant. I'll go through what they do in a minute. And we also have our senior student leaders in each form, so our older students who take on responsibility within the form and again help younger students to go through any problems and try and sort them out with them. So within my role, I oversee all the form groups within the college. I'm also the highest authority within the past or structure before we have senior leadership. So if there's any issues which arise, obviously I'll work with form tutors and Miss Blackwell has passed all ahead to sort out and hopefully then we can move forward. I'll also monitor academic progress throughout the year and that starts from year seven upwards um, and obviously intervene with behavior issues if it has gone beyond the form tutor and passed all ahead where necessary. And we're lucky within our college that we don't really have to deal with many incidents in that sort of fashion. Our pastoral head is lovely Mrs Blackwell. 
So like I said, she's a non-teaching member of staff, therefore she can be more accessible during the school day. So you know, if it's that you feel like you need a little bit of time out during a lesson or you've got a particular problem that you need to speak to her about, she has seen everything and dealt with anything. There's nothing that she can't deal with. Um, and she's really, really good at what she does. She's also the point of contact for students alongside form tutor. So obviously if your form tutor's not available, then you can go and speak to her. Um, and she will deal with, like I said, pretty much anything pastoral, such as emotional issues, attendance and behaviour issues as well. So, form tutors. The role of the form tutor, they monitor attendance, they obviously, because they're seeing you twice a day in the morning and the afternoon, they're going to look at your pastoral welfare and make sure everything's going okay. Uh, they're also going to monitor behaviour using credits and debits, which I'll come on to later. They're going to monitor your progress throughout your throughout the year looking at your scores in terms of what you're getting in different subjects and they are the first point of contact for you, your parents and any carers just to make sure that if parents have got any issues that they can speak to them. So your form tutors will be decided and they will be sent out to you. Just as a quick overview, this is our tutor team. So we've got Trent 1 which is Mr Rocks on the far side, Trent 2 which is Miss Lester in the middle, Trent 3 which is Mr Smith, Trent 4, very lucky to have Miss Phillips and Miss Todd. Trent 5 has Miss Merritt and Trent 6 has Mr J. I'm really, really fortunate to have that group of staff working as part of our team. Um, they are absolutely fantastic and brilliantly committed to the college and what they do and are really, really good with all of our students. So you will be very, very lucky regardless of what tutor you end up with. Okay, student leaders. So our older students will act as leaders and some of them will be assigned a special tie which they will represent uh, the senior student team. They will act as mentors and peers and positive role models for students in each form. Uh, they will also feed back to staff any sort of issues or problems or things that you might want to improve about the school through student voice. And they will also remind students of rules where necessary. So they will challenge you if they see students that aren't doing something right. They have the responsibility to be able to tell students, look, you need to start doing this or please stop doing that. Um, and it's just giving them a little bit of representation so that they know that they have that responsibility of the students within the college and obviously within the whole school as well. So on to credits. So each student can earn credits for various things. So it could be in a lesson, could be during the break time, lunch time, in the corridors, extracurricular clubs outside of school. It's to reward that hard work that students do day in, day, day out, and that commitment to excellence. So some of the things that are rewarded for, so achieving expected classroom standards, self-managing time effectively, pride in representing the form or the college or the school if it's a sporting event, um, showing your independence or initiative, showing respect for all, and showing excellent effort. Um, and we streamlined that to make it a little bit more simpler for students to understand and the amount of credits that our students in Trent pick up is absolutely amazing. Um, we've got the highest totals in the school by far and again that's down to the high, hard work and high standards that we set on a daily basis. All of our credits form a part of our Aspire to Excellence approach to learning and when we have our awards assemblies at the end of the term we recognise the hard work that students have put in and the students who have gone above and beyond with this. With the credits you can also use them to cash them in for different items. So there is a shop available in the school and our day is a Wednesday where you can go at lunchtime and get anything you need. So it has food and drinks vouchers, has stationery, sports equipment such as footballs, calculators, pretty much everything in there. And obviously things have different values so the more credits you earn the more things you can buy and that's for us to reward your hard work that you've done to earn these credits. Um, a couple of students have said that they feel it's really good to be able to use their credits in this way that they actually stand for something and they can actually see what their hard work represents. And that's it. Look forward to seeing everyone in September. If you've got any questions please drop me an email but until then stay safe. Thank you.